Let's explore problem 1-35, which asks us to record events in a horizontal statement model. Now, I'm only going to work a few of these transactions. The first transaction is done for you. And you can see it right up here. We've got the Maven company. It was started on January 1st, 2018, and it experienced the following events during its first year. So transaction one was that it acquired 33,000 cash from the issue of common stock. So we've got a, if we slide on over here, we can see cash increased by 33,000. So did common stock. Now the accounting equation is assets equal liabilities plus stockholders equity. So we're in balance. Both the asset side increased by 33,000 and so did the liability and stockholders equity side. Now, in terms of the statement of cash flow, of course, you're interested in whether cash was impacted. In this case, it was. Uh, so we've got a 33,000 increase that will show up on the statement of cash flow. And we've got that labeled as FA as a financing activity. Why? Because that cash impact resulted from changes in long-term liabilities and stockholders' equity other than the change in retained earnings that resulted from its normal principal operations. Now, revenues and expenses are its normal principal operations. So any effect, any impact of cash that affects revenue expenses become an OA, meaning it's impacting cash from an operating activity. Okay, now the next one I want to explore with you is number four. Number four says we paid cash expenses. So cash are going, cash is going to drop or decrease by 51,500. That's what they gave us right here. And of course that has an impact on retained earnings. Well, why? Because the income statement, if you think about it, is really a subset of retained earnings. The income statement flows its way to retained earnings. So here we had an increase of expenses of 51,500 that of course decreases net income since revenues minus expenses equals net income. And since net income wins, goes down by 51,500, uh, that also decreases retained earnings. Again, revenues minus expenses is a subset of retained earnings. Now, since cash was impacted, we see the impact in the cash account. We've got a decrease of cash. And again, this is an operating activity because it impacted the company's principal operations of the business, which is generating revenues and incurring expenses in the hopes of generating revenues. Okay, now I've moved the screen a little bit. The next transaction we're going to cover is number seven. Number seven says we paid 11,000 cash to reduce a principal balance of a bank note. Okay, a bank note, note's your key there, means it's a liability. It's a note payable. It's something we owe to somebody else. So we're going to see notes payable go down by 11,000 and cash go down. Now, if liabilities go down by 11,000 and cash goes down by 11,000, we're in balance. The accounting equation is still in balance. And this is a financing activity. Uh, you may want to know why. Again, we're impacting long-term liabilities or stockholders' equity, except for the change in retained earnings from the creation of net income or the creation of a net loss. Okay, so that's just a little bit to help you get started. And one other hint is when you put the totals together of your transactions, uh, put NC for net change in cash for the total line. Okay, um, if it truly is a net change. Your numbers may actually differ on this one, and so net change may not be the correct answer for your particular set of numbers you get. Okay, I hope you found this helpful.